Hi guys, this is Allstate from Wolfpack. And uh, I'm Dagan, Wolfpack team leader. And today we're going to be going over our team leader's gear review guide. So first we're going to start off with this plate carrier. So how do you run it? All right, so what I have here is I have a London Bridge, London Bridge Trading uh, 1694. It is the B variant, which means it is the large carrier. Um, it's a little large on my waist chest area just because the cummerbund is a large cummerbund. I would wear a medium, but the plate size is correct for my size. Up front, I have a Blue Force Gear triple mag pouch in multicam. I run PTS mags. Uh, these ones are the EPMs. I do have one uh, P mag in my gun here. And then I have a Jumbo 3x5 multicam IR flag. The Wolfpack team patch here, a uh, U94 PTT. This is a repro. I don't have real comms yet. Those are in the workings. Now, now what the heck is this, man? All right, so, Jeez. so uh, this is actually a core ice plate. Um, it's really nice. You can put water in it, you can freeze it. So on a really hot day, cools you down. I actually picked this up at American Mill Sims Op 34 last year. It, and what's really nice about this and what was nice about this at the op, it was really cold outside. So you can actually put warm water in this and what you do is you wear it on the inside of your carrier so it can re raise or lower your body temperature depending on the temperature outside. It's, it's really nice, but I think we should probably continue on with the rest of the carrier. You know, there's a lot to get to. I guess so. So what's over here, my man? All right, so what we have here is a Milson West and Tack Taylor uh, co-op. It is a Baofeng UV5R pouch. I use this for my radio. Um, this is hooked up to my U94 PTT usually, and then that's hooked up to my comms up on my helmet here, which we'll get to later. And then in the back here, this is a First Spear V-Slim pouch. I use this for my IFAC. Um, I keep a flashlight in here, just basic medical needs, just in case I need a Band-Aid on the field, someone needs some gauze tape. It's a really nice pouch. It's insulated, super padded, like one of the nicest pouches I own. I absolutely love the thing. Okay, let's get to the back, man. Yeah, so my back is kind of, uh, kind of bland. There's only, there's only a few things on here, but so I have a Pantac mini map. I bought this from Amped Airsoft. Super great uh, back panel. It holds my tank. I use a 45, 4,500 cubic inch HPA tank. It has, I'm gonna open it up here a little bit. It has a little elastic band in here that actually holds the tank so it doesn't wobble around, doesn't move around when I'm running around in the field. On here, we've got pouches in here. I usually run an Odin um, speed loader in one of these two pouches up here. I can run extra BBs, whatever I want in here. It's a big pack and it doesn't take up a lot of room. So um, at bigger ops, you wouldn't run with the Odin though, right? No, I, at big ops, I wouldn't run with the Odin. First of all, you usually aren't allowed to bring extra BBs out on the field. Second of all, it makes a lot of noise. It's like running around with a big old maraca on your back. It's, it's, it's kind of loud and annoying. And then right here, this is uh, one of my, my favorite things. I've ran this since for the last couple of years. This is a uh, Betsy Ross 13 star flag. Uh, I run it. It looks cool. I, I love it. I love uh, what it stands for. So I figured why not incorporate that into my rig. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that a lot. Now, the last two panels on the rig. Oh, yeah. So on my right-hand side, I am right-hand dominant. So I don't like as much bulk on my right-hand side because that's where I draw from. So that V-Slim and the radio pouch, they take up a lot of room. But on this side, I have a high-speed gear uh, taco pouch for uh, my pistol mags, for an extra pistol mag. That is really low pro, it doesn't get in the way, it doesn't get in my way of drawing my pistol. And then I also have a double LBT mag pouch in multicam that I hold two more PTS EPMs in. They're not in there right now, but again, it's super low profile, it does not get in the way at all. It's, it's really nice just to run on my right hand side just because I am right hand dominant. Okay. Well, that's it for the plate carrier, guys. Now, let's get on to your battle belt. I'd, I'd love to know a little bit more yeah. about this. Yeah, I used to run a really bulky, it was a Condor battle belt system. It's based off of the H just HSGI battle belt. Okay. It just got in the way. I wasn't a huge fan of how it worked. So then I got to talking with some of my reenactment buddies, and they told me uh, Rigger's belt was the way to go. So got yeah. online, looked it up. This is a London Bridge trading Rigger's belt in Coyote Brown. Basically... You can get these with Cobra buckles on them. You can get them with the quick loop buckle that I have. Just goes through your pant belt loops, sticks in your pants, keeps your pants up, and holds all your gear on there. So it's, it's a really si simple system, not super expensive, but it's really comfortable and I love how it fits. And then over, we'll just start left to right. So on the left-hand side of my body, I run my ATS Tactical dump pouch. It's very lightweight. 
Um, holds all of my mags if needed, plus some. I can carry buddy mags if I have to. Then in the middle here, pretty big dump pouch actually. Oh, dang. Um, yeah, I can fit. I can fit. I think I fit eight mags in here before. So you know, it's got a bungee top, has a drain hole in the bottom, so it doesn't hold water. It's made of a super super light material. Holy crap, um, man, that's as big as yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you are a pretty small guy. It's a pretty big dump pouch. Maybe we could throw you in there for one of these ops. But uh, so, and then in the middle here, this is an LBT 9022B. Um, this is also an IFAC. Currently, there's nothing in there. In the process of getting an actual IFAC on okay. on my body, but so on here has my blood type B negative. Also has uh, my sulfa allergy. So say I do have an actual medical emergency, probably won't happen. But people will know. Yeah, he's allergic to sulfa medications. So it's kind of a health thing that uh, is with me on the field. So in case something happens. Okay. But and then over here. This is my holster and pistol setup. So in, we'll start with what's inside, I guess. So in here is my VFC MP9. This is the full size variant. Uh, what I did, I had a buddy who ordered a tan version. I ordered the black version. I have a real steel gun that looks just like this one. It's the two tone. I love the looks of it. Absolutely love the pistol. Great trademarks, super nice feel. Feels just like my real one. It's, it's awesome. Highly recommend the gun. Yeah, it, it sounds great, shoots great. Um, but moving on, so this is my holster. I use a Safari Land um, with the UBL and the UBL mod. This was taken from a drop leg holster. You just put it through, there's three screws in the back here. You just put it in between the holster itself and the UBL. Um, super comfy, keeps it against my leg. There's uh, some sticky rubbery material on the inside so it doesn't slide around like some drop leg panels do, and it's high enough on my body that it's not all the way down towards my knee, but it's also low enough so it doesn't get in the way of my draw. Okay. Um, and then last but not least on the belt, I do have a personal retention lanyard. This one is a tactical tailor with a Yates Kong on the back. Basically this would be used if I get into a Humvee or something at a big op. I can use that to keep myself attached in the vehicle so I don't fall out and injure myself. It's, it's a safety. It's okay. a safety thing. Onto your gloves, I guess. Onto my gloves, yes. Okay, so these are the Oakley standard issue lightweight gloves. Um, the reason I picked these, they're super comfy, they're really lightweight, they breathe, and they also keep your hands warm when it's cold out. A lot of light gloves don't, but I found that these ones actually keep my hands pretty warm, especially when it's wet, um, cold out. They're not waterproof, but they are water resistant. Okay. So they're really nice. The favorite part of the whole kit, the, the fanny pack, the fanny let's pack. go. I'm, Woo -hoo. I'm, Bringing back the 90s here, um, everybody's mom and dad walking around with a light pink purple fanny pack. No, this one's not yeah. This one's not like that, but this one is a CSM gear uh, fanny pack. It is in Coyote Brown. On the front here I have a Primitive Watchman Woodland uh, logo patch. Primitive Watchman, super awesome. They stand for some super cool things. Look them up if you want to. But, so, basically you've got three different compartments on the pouch itself. You have one back here. I usually like keep a wallet in here, my phone sometimes. Then you get to this big pouch on the inside. Usually keep my grenades inside here. Um, it's a nice way to keep my grenades so they're not like moving around or anything. So there's no hazard of them going off. And then in that front pouch there, I sometimes I keep my wallet in there if I forget that, that I have that back pouch. But it's, it has a lot of room. It's fairly inexpensive. I love it. It helps me a ton on the field. Okay. Let's get on to the helmet. All right, so my helmet is displayed on my friend Bob here. Bob is my foam head. We, uh, we've had some good times together, good times at some Milsims. But so, this helmet is the FMA Maritime in Urban Tam. It is uh, modeled after the Opscore Maritime helmet. Um, the helmet itself is gray, but everything on the helmet is tan, which makes it look like it's, like it's tan, like it's a tan helmet. So up front, I have an L, uh, FMA L4 G24. It's a night vision arm. I just have it for looks. It's plastic. It doesn't really do much. It just looks cool. Um, and then moving on, we have my Oakley M frames. Absolutely love these glasses. They are the best thing on my kit. They keep my eyes protected. I can use them as sunglasses. I have clear lenses for them. I have the Helo kit for them. So they are full seal. So I can wear them at any op that I go to. Um, with with no questions asked, like they're 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 great. They rarely fog up. Absolutely love them. 
Um, on the sides here, these little knobs, these are Z Tactical um, Comtac arc rail adapters. So that means I can take my Repro, these are also Z Tactical Comtac 2s. I can take my Repro Comtacs, attach them to my helmet so I don't have to have a strap going on underneath. So it's, it's less stuff that I have to put on my head. It's more comfortable, um, keeps it tighter my, to my head. Um, over on this side, I have another Keystone Tactical patch. Um, they make a lot of our really cool laser cut patches. Absolutely love them. This one is my call sign, Wolfpack 01. Over here, IR, US flag, used for nighttime op. Nighttime op is if someone's using an infrared camera, someone's using nods. Um, it helps them identify who I am. In the back, got my name tape so people know who I am. So like people knowing who I am out on the field, you know, get my name out there. But yeah, so basically that's everything I have for the helmet. Absolutely love it. Super comfy. Okay. Now explain your gun to me, because just by looking at it, I kind of think basic. So this is the basic <laughs> uh, SOP mod gun right here. So this is a Mark 18 Mod 1. It uses a GMP magpul body. Um, it's not kosher to the gun itself, but I love the body. It's CNC. It's super high quality, love it, it's lightweight, super sturdy. Drop this gun three or four times now, fall on it, no scratches. Um, it's got the, I, I built this gun from scratch, it was a box of parts, and made it to what it is now. It has the Mad Bull Daniel Defense licensed Mark 18 Riz 2 rail in Dark Earth. Um, I've got a FMA, or sorry, yeah, FMA L5 and the FMA uh, M300? Yeah, that's what it is. So that was a that was a combo package. Uh, it does have the dual pressure switch on this one, or on this side of the gun. So as I'm ready, hold it like this. My thumb is on the pressure switch at all times. I have a Repro EOTech EXPS. Uh, replica KAC Micro uh, backup iron sights in flat dark earth. Up front we have the replica KAC three prong. Does not have the acoustics like the real one, but it looks cool. Um, we have a Magpul RVG, super comfortable. I have this on my real AR. I love it. It's really nice to hold. It's very ergonomic. It doesn't hurt your hands at all. Helps with recoil. Uh, back here, just a, just a crane stock. I know, I know you love them. I know you love crane stocks. <sighs> Absolutely love crane stocks. And then, uh, last but not least, on the outside of the gun, I use a Haley Strategic D3 SLK sling. Absolutely phenomenal sling. Love Travis Haley. Love his company. All of his products. Super great. Yeah. Hey. So nice. Such great stuff. Okay, so what's the internal stuff at? So, might as well just take the upper off since we can do that on an M4. So, what we have on the inside. Got it. Oh, man. Gotta have to drop the mag. Oops. So what we have on the inside is we have a Polar Star version two, generation three fusion engine. It has a purple nozzle and a gold poppet. Super efficient, great, great FPS, rate of fire, whole nine yards. Love Polar Star. Absolutely love the performance out of it. I have a amped airsoft in grip line attached. Way better than the macro line that comes with the guns. It doesn't kink. It um, it looks cool. I got the Patriot edition. I, I, I love the United States, you know, got to be patriotic. And then finally, what we have here, this is a ZCI 280 millimeter barrel, uh, 6.02 in diameter. It's uh, stainless steel, helps with pulling off those long shots on the field. This is a Pro-Win CNC aluminum hop-up unit. And on the inside, we have a Prometheus purple bucking that's been flat hopped by our team tech, Chris Bowers. Recommend him highly. Great tech. Too bad he's kind of ugly. But yeah, whatever. that is true. That is true. He does, have, he does have some downsides. But it also has a Namazu flat hop bucking on the inside. This thing, it pulls off shots that should not be possible with a 280 millimeter barrel. It is just phenomenal. I love the gun. Love the setup. It fits with my kit fits with how I play. Just absolutely okay. love it. Well, there's our Wolfpack first review with Dagan. So hopefully you guys liked it and all set out. Yeah, Dagan out.